Hi, I'm George Fisher, a retired vicar who lives in Eastbourne with my wife Joan. What difference has Jesus made to my life? Well, just about everything possible. I became a Christian when I was in my early teens. Uh, I was pretty miserable as an, a young teenager and uh, I really didn't see the purpose of life. I'd been sent to Sunday school when I was little but my sister, who was four years older than me when she was 11, decided it was no longer for her. And to be honest, it was pretty boring, so I took the option out as well. But in secondary school, where I was pretty miserable, I had some friends who were different. And I used to hang around with them all the time, except for Tuesday lunch times. And there they vanished off the face of the earth. Never told me where they were going or what they were doing. It took a while to cotton on that it was Tuesday lunch times, so I followed them. Found out they were going to something called Christian Union, so I followed them in. To be honest, I ran out, but they got something that I was after, so I went back and back and back, and I heard about this man Jesus, and all that he did, all that he taught, that he died for me, that he came back to life and over a period of about three months I gave my life to Jesus I invited him in to make a difference can't specify a particular date but sometime over that period and my life changed I suddenly had a, a sense of purpose in life it was to serve him and, and my life has changed from that point onwards I um, did a degree became a teacher, uh, eventually felt a call to ordination and became a vicar. And God has led me into some most amazing different adventures in the churches that I've been in. And it's been one of the greatest privileges of my life to serve others, to serve the community, but actually most of all, to help other people to find the love and the life and the hope that Jesus gives. And now I'm retired, I'm still doing it, because it wasn't a job, it's a life. When Jesus comes, he makes all the difference in the world. And I can't imagine what my life would be without him. And so, my aim is still to bring others to know Jesus. That might include you. Thank you for listening.